Hi, this is Kendall Ackman. We're here at the Blackmagic Design Booth, NAB 2015, and I'm in front of the Blackmagic Micro Cinema Camera. So we created a nice compact style camera here. It's a uh, micro th four thirds lens mount, 13 stops of dynamic range, and it actually records on the SD card. So you can record all the flavors of ProRes, and you can even get up into DNX, um, excuse me, you can get up to Cinema DNG RAW files on this. It does have a record button right on the front here with the tally light so you know that you're recording. So if you have it on the dash of a car, down in a hole, or you're doing some type of remote recording, you actually know it's recording on there. Great thing about this is it does have the protocol on here to do the expansion port for radio controls. So airplane uh, radio controls to do wireless remote uh, shooting. And you would get focus, iris, zoom with those remote controls. HDMI out, so you could go up to a quadcopter or a uh, drone, you can do that. Battery pack on the side here. This camera can get up to 30 frames a second in HD. We actually have the Blackmagic Micro Studio Camera 4K. So this camera is capable of shooting in 4K. You can shoot up to 60 frames a second. And as you can see, it's a very small, compact form factor. So this is a great camera for shooting sports, any live production for that matter, up in remote areas. And it has a micro four-thirds lens mount. Great thing about this camera, if I spin it around here, you'll see it has an optional expansion port on it. And the expansion port enables you to move out and do uh, pan, tilt, zoom in those re remote locations. So you can actually wire this depending on how you want to uh, yourself. You can customize this. It's very hackable. We actually have a whole page dedicated to how you can rewire this for yourself and customize it. Um, another thing you can do on the expansion port is you can add a B4 control on it. So what we're going to do is have uh, where you can do a ring adapter on the camera for a B4 option. And of course you go to the expansion port to control iris, tally, talkback, things like that will come out to the uh, to the ATEM switcher and you get your camera control and things like that uh, for color shading. SDI connections, battery pack here. Uh, it does have an, an HDMI out on the other side also too. Great thing about this camera is that it has a tally light on it so you're going to know when it's recording, get that kind of feedback. And then we also have all your setups here for your menu options and things like that. Then I'll grab down here our video assist. This is new Blackmagic Video Assist. So what you can do is if you want to go through the menu options, you can connect the Video Assist monitor. That's one way you'll be able to read those. You can also play back any of the information you want through SDI connections here or HDMI in and out. Spinning around here, the monitor also acts as a recorder. So you have an SD slot here. You can record onto HD, DNX HD, and all the flavors of ProRes. Have your power options here too. But on the back, you can take this out in the field and be remote with it because you have the battery options here. So really this runs off of one battery and you can hot swap these if you'd like to. There's uh, mounting ports on the top, mounting ports on the bottom. So you can, in a sense, hook this right onto the camera if you'd like to and then you can get feedback right there. It's all HD 1920 by 1080 and it's all touch screen. And we have the Blackmagic Ursa Mini. So if you remember last year at Blackmagic, we uh, introduced the Ursa camera, the original Ursa camera. What we've done is we've shrunken that one down and we made the Ursa Mini. So the other camera weighed about 16 pounds. Um, so if you wanted to jump and run and gun, do some shoots where you had it handheld, more of a portable thing, it was a little bit heavy for that. You can do it, but most people wanted to see us make something that was a little bit smaller, uh, a little more portable. This is five pounds. So you can take this camera as I said, you can run around and uh, run and gun shooting style. It still has a super 35 size sensor, and you can get this option in PL or EF. It has a fold out screen here. This is all touch screen here, 5 inch, and it is full 1920 by 1080. All of the uh, menu options are on here. And then, of course, just like the original, so you can get into your menu uh, focus options here as far as focus peaking, iris control, things like that records to CFAST cards, so it does have one slot um, where it fills up, it'll automatically jump to the second slot. Battery pack option on the back. You can power in if you need to. 
and then you do have an SDI out. You have your reference in and your time code in on this side. The one thing that we've added this year that I'm really happy about is the option to go and, and take out um, the SDI and power right to an EVU, uh, EVF, electronic viewfinder. So Blackmagic Design this year has made a new EV, uh, EVF and it is 1920 by 1080, full color in the lens. It has focus peaking, you can pull up focus charts. It has an OLED, but it actually is uh, eye sensitive so that it will shut off when you're not on the lens and it doesn't burn out the OLED. And another thing that we've added onto this camera, just to make it more portable, is the, uh, the optional shoulder pad. So you can buy the shoulder pad with the extension arm and the top handle, and all three pieces are 395 camera ships with this handle right here. There's rosettes on it so that you can take the rosettes, you can screw into the side of the camera here, and you have another point here or down here, depending on how you want to carry the camera around. Great thing about this one is that it comes in two options. There's a 4.6K that does 15 stops of dynamic range, or you can go to the 4K model that does 12 stops of dynamic range. 60 frames a second in 4K, you can do 120 frames a second in HD. And it's a Blackmagic Mini.